Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Transpose VR. Transpose VR is a puzzle game on the Steam Store available for every major headset. It normally retails for 20 bucks, and I actually bought it 50% off for 10 bucks. However, good news everyone, it's currently available free to keep, free to play this weekend april 9th through april 13th on the steam store and it's very highly recommended uh it's got a lot of positive reviews um unfortunately i haven't beaten the game i, I just started playing even though i bought this game probably like a year ago i want to say i haven't played it so <laughs> this is my uh first time playing this game this is the first time me playing this particular puzzle and so far I've liked it. Puzzle games are a little difficult to review just because it really depends on whether you like the puzzles or not. And that will vary a lot by person. So I know a lot of puzzle pros out there hate any puzzle game that's not super challenging. And I know a lot of casual puzzle players out there that don't like a puzzle game that doesn't have the right amount of difficulty. You know, usually starting off very simple and slowly just building up to difficulty, but you know, never too difficult. So you might enjoy a puzzle where you struggle, you know, for a few minutes, maybe even, you know, 10, 20 minutes to, to solve. And then when you solve it, you feel great. It's like, ah, and then, but however, if you get stuck in a puzzle, never able to find a solution, it can be a very frustrating experience. So that's why puzzle games are very difficult to review. You know, what makes a puzzle game good? What makes it bad? It's very subjective. There are some measuring sticks that people usually do for this puzzle, but you know, you're never gonna get everyone to agree on a puzzle game. Uh, I know some people like puzzle games like from, that were available on the Humble Bundle recently. Malik Sentez, I believe is one of them. Some people really love those games and other people really hate them. So <laughs> it just depends on the person. So far though, what I can tell you is I've enjoyed playing this game. Um, the tutorial I thought was well done. Uh, I like the art style. These aren't the best graphics in VR, but let me actually show you uh, the settings. So here are the settings uh, and the graphics I have set to medium, so I'm on a 1060 GTX, I'm on medium, it's, it's running fine, 90 frames per second, no issues. Uh, the gameplay, you do have snap and smooth rotation, however, the smooth rotation for me was a little too slow. And you can control either the moving direction either from headset or controller, so you do have full look of motion and snap and smooth turning options. However, uh, You do use teleportation a lot in this game, so a big part of the puzzle mechanic is using puzzles because you're basically jumping from floating platform to floating platform, so you're going to have to teleport. Uh, but I, I appreciate the, the full locomotion and the snap turning. The smooth turning is just a little too slow for me, so let's go ahead and uh, try to solve this puzzle. By the way, I have not tried this puzzle before. This is a, a blind attempt, so I'm going to go ahead and restart. <laughs> I'm going to have suicide because I was talking and by the way that's a mechanic in the game you can just discard so let's restart and I believe you have to put a puzzle piece there so there's one and we have to get across there somehow so uh, a couple of puzzle mechanics you have like this uh, teleport option that you can use and obviously there's a block over there but I'm not sure there's a way I do see here that we have a way to, there's like a little lever here and I bet you that moves that. Okay. I do have one complaint. It's when you do this uh, restart your place of origin, that's basically the, the, what you saw me there for, go from one starting point to the other starting point. It can be difficult to, to tell when you've successfully done that. Uh, basically you just keep pointing at it pointing at it when you no longer see it's activating that means it's already gone through and you, re you can restart your starting point and the object of the game really is to move cubes one from one location to another and you're using your past and future selves to help you out so past present and future 
cells, your, your, your echoes, your shadows to help you out in getting the cubes in the right location. So time is a factor, throwing the cube is a factor, and as well as the starting the different points. And uh, so here I see another lever over there. And I, by the way, it's really smart in this game to look around in your environment to figure it out. Uh, it can be a little difficult at times to tell. So I, I wish the graphics were a little sharper. I like the art design, but I, I believe the, the graphics could have been a little sharper. Maybe some different colors to help you see the differences. Because it can be a little difficult to tell. So here, I believe what we're supposed to do is move this platform to the middle and then get on that side and then move that one across and then you can get back with the cube and the cube, you put it at the front place. So let's go ahead and do that. So we don't get the cube right now. I believe we actually have to go over here and move this platform over there. So again, my complaint there, you see how it was difficult to tell and I had to do it twice? Okay, so now we're going to move the platform over here. It, the platforms also go a little bit too slow for my taste. <laughs> I'm not very patient. <laughs> That's why I'm just a casual puzzle fan because I really don't have too much patience. Like in games, I just want quick and dirty action, you know. Oh, there's two platforms. I had, had not realized that time did that. That is new to me. Okay, so now I believe we're going all the way across. Right, all the way across. And then we're going back to the middle. I believe that's what we're doing. I don't know that I can reach all the, can I? Yeah, I can reach, okay, so. I don't have to worry about getting the plat on the platform here. I just have to worry about getting on the platform over there and getting it correctly in the middle. Okay, here we go, correctly in the middle. Okay, there we go. There we go. We solved the puzzle. Yay! I think, well, I think we solved the puzzle. Did we solve the puzzle? We still have to get back over there. I don't believe you can teleport with the cube in your hand. Oh no! Did we solve the puzzle? Did we solve the puzzle or did we not? Well, I can solve the puzzle here because I can just manually go over here and then manually get myself back. So we're still good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we solved the puzzle. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe we can do this because I don't believe you can teleport with the cube in your hand. I'm not sure on that, but I don't think you can. I think you drop the cube if you try to do that. Either way, we're good because I have the puzzle here and I can put the puzzle over there and voila. And we solved the puzzle. So yeah, this is Transpose VR. This is one of the early puzzles. So again, not the most difficult puzzle in the world, but we're still very early on. I f basically finished the first world and this is the third puzzle of the second world. I did enjoy that. It was challenging just because you have to be observant. If you don't observe very well, that can be challenging, but because that we observed pretty well, it wasn't that challenging. So for being early on in the game, I thought it was a sufficient challenge and uh, I'm sure it'll get more difficult here. I don't want to show more gameplay because I don't want to be solving these puzzles for you all. I'm sure you all want to do the puzzle challenges yourself, but I do recommend this game. Easy recommend. It's recommended by a lot of people on Steam rated very positively and it's free to keep this weekend so go ahead and download this game i'll put a link on my video where you can download this game from april 9th through april 13th free to keep highly recommend you do that right now and don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm fast lawyer thanks for watching have a wonderful day goodbye